associations supporting resident doctors call off strike appeal doctors to resume work State government is taking all possible measures to make agriculture sustainable says chief minister Devendra Fadnavis Indian chemical industry key constituent of the economy expected to grow to 226 billion US dollar by 2020 says union commerce minister Nirmala Sitaraman Thank you good evening and welcome to Metro Scan from Mumbai I am Mamta Bhatt let's see the news in detail The Indian Medical Association and Maharashtra Association of Resident doctors who were on strike in state since Monday protesting violence against their fraternity and lack of security called off their strike today Earlier in the day the Bombay High Court came down heavily on the agitating resident doctors of the Maharashtra government hospitals for not resuming duty despite assuring so yesterday MARD has assured court that they would return to work by tomorrow 8 am this associate associating itself from the strike MARD had through an affidavit told the high court that they don't have any objection if action is taken against the agitating doctors the high court warned the agitating doctors and said that punitive action will be taken against them by the government if work is not resumed the functioning of the opds and general wards in the government and the civic hospitals remains affected due to the strike meanwhile chief minister devendra fadnavis in state assembly gave an ultimatum to the striking resident doctors to resume duty or face legal action even as the bombay high court gave the state run hospitals an option to terminate their services while making a statement fadnavis said enough is enough if the doctors fail to resume work today government will not sit quietly he also informed how that that he failed to understand the insensitive attitude of the doctors of leaving patients to die the bre- the to break the deadlock chief minister along with medical education minister girish mahajan also had meeting with representatives of the resident doctors the representatives of ima called on the chief minister at vidhan bhavan in afternoon fadnavis assured them that the security has already been provided in 16 hospitals since yesterday the state government is working on providing security to doctors and more arrangements will be done within 10 days एक शेवट की बैठक आज मैं करना है अध्यक्ष महोदय तै बैठकी पुनः विनंती करना है कारण विनंती करना कहीं चुकी नहीं है तीन कहीं आमचा मान कमी हो हाथ जोड़न विनंती करो पाया पड़न विनंती करो पध्यक्ष महोदय जर यठिका आम रुग्णना अशा प्रकार मरने पर सोडला ये अल तो अध्यक्ष महोदय देखी आम्मी माफ करना नहीं Making a statement in the legislative assembly chief minister devendra fadnavis today said government is taking all possible measures for making agriculture sustainable he said apart from helping the farmers for their welfare and betterment the government is also emphasizing on getting investments in agriculture fadnavis said maharashtra samruddhi corridor is for farmers and it will give them market connectivity he also assured that the state government will work with the central government on loan waiver issue Responding to the Shiv Sena's MLA's demand on loan waiver for farmers, Chief Minister said looking at the current status of the farmers overdue loan, decision will be taken and those farmers who pay loan on regular basis will be given benefits while structuring the waiving schemes. Commenting on the suspension of the opposition MLA's, CM said that suspension is not because of loan waiver issue but it is because of their behavior in the assembly. Union Commerce Minister Nirmala Sitaraman said that Indian chemical industry is a key constituent of the economy and is expected to grow to 226 billion US dollars by 2020. She was speaking at a Chemex Chemexel award function in Mumbai today. The Basic Chemicals and Dyes Export Promotion Council that is Chemexel has played a key role in promoting exports of the products and its basket by showcasing the capabilities of Indian chemical industry before the world. The minister stated that union budget 2017-18 focuses on boosting trade and industry. The minister expressed satisfaction that Chemexel has implemented and completed a host of export promotional activities which have resulted not only in enhancing exports but also in creating awareness in international market. Chemicals also are getting a lot of common infrastructure facility. We fully recognize the contribution the sector is making for our economy in terms of employment in terms of revenue generation and in terms of also export earnings. So uh, there's no way in which uh, this industry's importance can be lost out on us. 
With an aim to create awareness among all stakeholders regarding energy efficiency, National Power Training Institute in association with Bureau of Energy Efficiency under Ministry of Power, Government of India had organized National Retail Trading Program on Standards and Labeling in Mumbai. Speaking on the occasion, Director General of NPTI, Professor R.K. Pandey, emphasized that Indian markets have to compete with the global market by producing energy-efficient products through research and development and innovative innovation. He further stated that in turn, this initiative will boost economy and generate more employment, leading to social transformation. He also added that NTPI will take a lead to organize such awareness program to reward and certify distributors for selling energy-efficient products. So, R&D, if we do in-house R&D, which is our manufacturers of EMA, if these people in-house do their R&D, then this EMA is our global stakeholders. There is a place where this is coming from, like China, जापान से आता है, कोरिया से आता है, वही ये रिवर्स हो जाएगा। हमारे यहाँ सामान जाना शुरू हो जाएगा, तो हम ग्लोबल लीडर बन जाएंगे। To enhance opportunities for the skilled workforce in securing appropriate employment in general civil aviation, MOU was signed between Pawan Hans and University of Mumbai. The joint initiative of Pawan Hans Helicopters Training Institute in association with University of Mumbai will give a major boost to general civil aviation by launching dual qualification course in BSCs, Aeronautics, affiliated with Mumbai University, and Aircraft Maintenance Engineering course of Pawan Hans, recognized by DGCA, Government of India. With a fleet of varied, varied helicopters and knowledge imparting platforms, students of PHTI will achieve competence in India in Indian, European, American, and Russian aircraft maintenance processes and manufacturing techniques. Dr. Sanjay V. Deshmukh, Vice Chancellor, University of Mumbai, Dr. P. B. B. P. Sharma, Chairman and Managing Director, Pawan Hans, and dignitaries from academic and helicopter industries were also present on the occasion. Well, that's all we had in this edition of Metro Scan from Mumbai, but we'll be back on Monday evening with more updates from the commercial capital. Till then, it's over to Delhi Studios. Thanks for watching. Namaskar.